Hello and welcome to another episode of Walking with Pish. I used to be an atheist. When I was young, I was a very stubborn young man. I thought I knew everything, was very not willing to learn. I was like, yeah, I know best. What is there to learn? Thought I had it all figured out. Pretty much everything in life. But at some point, I got to digging into this reality we are in. And I started looking into quantum physics. As an atheist, I was just like, of course, it's uh, all math and yeah, they got it all figured out. We are just some dust flying around in space. Coincidence. We came from nothing. You're you're not significant at all. But then, to my surprise, at the edge of quantum physics, it is a part where they say, if you observe something, the particles act in this way, and if you don't observe them, they act in another way. For me, that was very, very strange. Then I thought, here is something I'm not meant to understand. An epiphany came to me. If I'm not meant to understand, why am I against God or religion? And I started looking at how religious people live their life and and what they live by. It's just a lot about it that just clicked. If you eat like they do in uh, the Bible or in uh, the Quran, you're pretty much uh, very healthy. Interesting. Then I figured out that the Bible says you shall not fear. It's one of the things it says the most. And that really applies. You should not fear. And you should not go around and worry. Which I feel people do a lot in this modern society. One of the things that also got me into religion was my songwriting and arts. When you've made a lot of songs and people ask you, how you made that song, Pish? I can't really tell. (laughs) And that's a very weird thing when you can't tell how you made something. In in, in general labor, you you can say that uh, at first we did this, we first we dig a hole, then we put the fundament and stuff like this. But in uh, music and arts, it's not that way. You just get this kind of... It feels like it's sent from a place you don't really know about. I think it's a lot the same with authors and, and art in general. And painting. I think like when you get that like painting kick where everything is just like... Then you can't really describe what you're doing. And uh, not either with the music when you're making a song or also when you play really, really well together. Like when you get this kind of crazy unified thing where you just like everything is just like and you just like and I have that working with music with some people and just like we tune into this frequency, same kind of frequency and we just like connect. It's really powerful. I can't describe it, so then I rather be ignorant and say that I really don't know. To act like, yeah, it was this vacation, I went on to Paris and I was three months in Paris and uh, that's why I made that song. That's not true, you know. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, it's a large topic. I've changed a lot during the years and one of the things that's changed the most is is the that I am more religious now than I than I ever ever been more spiritually awakened and I think it's a very nice thing because if you look at the world in a atheistic way it can be really grim dark and pointless and and not much to live for. If you're here only by a fluke, you know, why are you living? But if you have a purpose and you live life in a certain way where you want to be nice, you want to be kind, you want to do nice stuff and you want to live a good life, it's interesting. And you can evolve and change and and do nice things and make stuff great and and it's really easy to live by these kind of rules. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Muslim either. 
or I'm not a Buddhist, but I am religious. I believe in something bigger than just nothing. And I'm proud to say that. 14 year old Pish would be cringing right now. Yeah, you might cringe a little bit, but yeah, I'm, I'm religious. I think that's, that's what makes the most sense to me. I don't think everything here in this world came from nothing. And it's just a big fluke with Big Bang Theory and stuff like that. I think it's something bigger that we don't understand and we're not meant to understand. And that's the big thing for me. That I, if I'm not meant to understand it, why should I try to understand it? It's not meant for me to understand. I also see how much religion helps people. It really helps people that are struggling. If something can help you while you're struggling, it's got to be a good thing. And you maybe say that religion is the root of all evil in uh, the world and it's a lot of wars because of religion uh, also. Very true. But I think without religion, this world would be a very much darker place than it already is. It's a big topic. If you want me to talk about something else and if you want to hear more about my religious views in our next walk, Say that in the comments. But thank you for joining me on this great walk here in Spain still. The Mediterranean Ocean is behind and the sun is out today. Thank you very much for joining in. Bye.